Heavenly Father, help me honor you in everything I do today, for you are holy and worthy of all praise. Oh, looks like we're fresh out of grub, Belfry. What are we gonna do for breakfast? Raid Theo's pantry, of course. Come on. Maybe we should ask Theo first. Heaven helps those what helps themselves, I always say. Not to worry, Belfry. We'll scrounge something up. You can depend on me. Lead us into your truth today, Father, so that we might advance your heavenly kingdom on Earth. We're going to starve, Luther. Oh, I forgot that today's market day. Thea will stock up and then we'll eat. You'll see. I do hope so. Thank you, Father, for all the food, shelter, and clothing that you provide. You are good and kind. You give your children everything they need. <laughs> Wait just a minute. Nothing but veggies. Does Theo think we're rabbits? a matter of principle now. Help me live a holy life, Father. Help me draw closer to you and guard my heart against evil. How great you are, Lord Jesus. You are the King of kings and Lord of heaven and earth. Isn't it wonderful that we can talk directly with our Heavenly Father? The Bible calls this prayer. Whenever we pray, we have a private audience with the creator of the universe. What a tremendous privilege. The Bible tells us a lot about prayer. It tells us how to pray. But did you know that it also tells us how not to pray? For example, some people think praying is asking for things to spend on our own pleasures. This is praying with wrong motives. If someone makes a big show of praying to be seen by other people, then that person is praying with prideful motives. Others don't pray because they doubt that God answers prayer. The Bible says that doubters will not receive anything from the Lord. So how do we pray then? Why, of course, little friend. All you had to do was ask. <laughs> Thank you, Theo. There you go. Jesus said that we have not because we ask not. Then he gave us a simple prayer, an outline, really, to teach us how we ought to pray. Let's take a look at the Lord's Prayer in our shoebox Bible theater. Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. When we pray, we should always recognize that God is our heavenly Father. He is great and his throne is in heaven. God's name represents his character. It represents who he is. God is holy. He is the creator of heaven and earth. He is righteous and good. All of our prayers should give him honor and glory. 
for he alone is worthy of our praise. Your kingdom come. Jesus said that the kingdom of God is within you. Jesus is our king. Everything we ask for in prayer should be to advance his kingdom in the world. He has empowered his people with the gift of the Holy Spirit, who enables us to do his will. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Our prayers should be centered on what pleases God, not what pleases ourselves. Jesus prayed that his Father would remove the cup of suffering that he was about to endure. But he submitted himself to do God's will. God's will is not always easy, but it is always perfect and pleasing to him. Give us this day our daily bread. Our Heavenly Father knows that we need food, clothing, and shelter. He is pleased when we come to Him and ask for His blessing, not only for ourselves, but for those around us as well. And forgive us our sins as we forgive those that sin against us. When we sin, we should ask God for forgiveness. But we must know that because God has forgiven us, we will forgive others. If we know that we have sinned against someone, we ought to go to that person and confess, so that our prayers are not hindered. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We live in a world with temptations all around us. Jesus said to watch and pray so that we might not enter into temptation. Prayer is a powerful weapon to help us in our time of need. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. True prayer begins with honoring our Heavenly Father. And it ends with it as well. It brings glory to God's name over all the earth. So you see, when we pray, we should seek His desire for our lives, not our own. The Bible tells us that we are to pray without ceasing, bringing everything to God in prayer throughout the day. Prayer should be as natural for us as breathing. You have not because you ask not. Thank you for your many blessings this day, Father. You have given me everything I needed to live for your glory and kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Imagine talking to the one who created everything in heaven and on earth. That's quite a privilege, little mate. I wonder why people don't pray more often, then. 